best of them. So okay. fact or cap, Unbiased. Brandon Ayuk is better than Amon St. Raw. Whoa. <laughs> Amon Raw St. Brown. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go fact. Um, Brandon Ayuk might be emerging as one of the best wide receivers in the league. I mean, Justin Jefferson's kind of by himself. You almost have to – Say, yeah, he might be the best receiver in the league, but except Justin Jefferson, you almost can't count him in this conversation because he's so he's so absurd. But Brandon Ayuk, man, you you know, assuming whatever happened to him, they're they're, they're kind of downplaying the shoulder thing or, you know, perhaps there's nothing to be worried about. But that injury he suffered the a couple of nights ago. Yeah, he looked pretty banged up. He looked uncomfortable for most of that Rams game. Uh, assuming that's not something that lingers, of course, you got this short week with 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 Denver coming up on Thursday. I think Brandon Ayuk has a chance to be like a dude, like especially since Brock Purdy seems to really, really like finding him. I think he has the opportunity to be a top five, top three wide receiver in the entire league. Wow, that's that's high price. It's high price. So, all right, Gary, before we go to the two Niner fans, I'm going to come to you next. Brandon Ayuk is better than Amon Ross St. Brown, factor cap. I'm not going to lie, Kev. This one was pretty neck and neck to me. I'm going to go with Amonse Brown just because I feel like he's the number one option on his team. And also, I just feel like uh, not to take anything from Ben and Ayuk. I know you guys got a personal bet right there with Sean and Kev going on right now on yardage for the year. But And obviously, I'm the least person to talk after this man just cooked my Steelers last week. In, you know, I watched it with Sean and Yvonne, and it was depressing to watch d with those guys just dancing in my face the whole time. But Shout out to you for showing up. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. But I'm going to say just a little bit better right now just because this is one of those things where I just see there's so much talent on the Niners team with Kittle and Debo and McCaffrey that he's going to, you know, he's going to, even though it's not to take anything away from him because he's also a great route runner and things of that nature, but I just feel like there's more pressure on Brown and he's been uh, more exceeding that. So I'm going to say he's just a little bit better than – Brandon Ayuk at the moment just due to the talent deficiency right there and the help he got. All right, so let's go to the Niner fans. Toddy, I'm going to come to you next. Fact or cap? Brandon Ayuk is better than Amon Ross and Brown. Fact. I mean, there's not really – I don't really know what you want me to say. If you put him on other teams, he could be a number one wide receiver. Like, if you put him on the the Lions right now, he will be the number one wide receiver on the Lions right now. We have George Kittle, Christian Kemp, Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk all on the same team. So, yes, it's going to be hard for him to be a number one wide receiver when you have potentially other Hall of Famers on the same team. It's going to be hard for you to get a bunch of targets. But now that you have Kyle Shanahan and Brock Purdy is a little bit more comfortable in the system, he likes to throw the ball downfield. A guy who – Jimmy Garoppolo was not a guy who could push the ball downfield. You're seeing Brock – even he said in his press conference, you know, he played – he said he had his worst game in his career and they won the game. And he's looking for B.A. on a bunch of these, uh, you know, over over the middle routes, a couple of dig routes and a couple of long balls, too. So, you know, uh, we have the mastermind kind of scheming up everything and just guys will be wide open. And Brandon Ayuk is a guy who can, you know, he really doesn't need to get schemed wide open because he leaves defenders in the dirt with his route running. He's one of the best route runners in the league. So um, I think Amamar St. Brown is a, is a, is a uh, an exceptional wide receiver, and he's up and coming. Absolutely a great slot guy. Um, but I think Brandon Ayuk is just on a different level. I made a bet with Kevin earlier in the year. I was probably a year too early that he'd be a top 100 player um, in the NFL. I lost that bet, but I feel like this coming year, he's definitely going to prove that he's a top 100 player. All right, Sean, another Niner fan, everybody. So I think we're nowhere yet to go. So fact or cap, Brandon Ayuk is better than Amon Ross St. Brown. It's a fact, and I even I even had a moment to look at the numbers, and the numbers are almost identical. So far through two games, no Brandon chance. Ayuk has 11 receptions for 172 yards and two touchdowns. Amon Ross St. Brown, 12 receptions for 173 yards, one more catch, one more yard, and one oh, touchdown God. versus two for Brandon Ayuk. If Brandon Ayuk didn't have that nagging shoulder or neck injury in that Rams game, then I think he would have had better numbers. But the reason why I say this is a fact is because, to me, Brandon Ayuk is one of the best route runners in the NFL. The reason why Brock Purdy has basically made him his number one target is because he's constantly open and he's breaking ankles out there on the gridiron. And so, to me, the guy who went to Sierra College in Rockland, even putting my bias aside, he is better than Amon Ross St. Brown and 
before I toss it back to you, Kevin, I, I have to ask D'Lo because D'Lo, the bet that Kevin and I have is whether or not Brandon Ayuk will get a thousand receiving yards this season. And so D'Lo, factor cap, will Brandon Ayuk have over a thousand receiving yards this season? Yeah, I'll go fact. Uh, you know, think you know, Vaughn said something a minute ago about you know this loaded 49ers team with Debo and George Kittle and and Christian McCaffrey and all those guys. And with all that said, like Brandon Mayuk still might be the number one option. And through two games, I mean, through two games, there's a lot of evidence that Brandon Ayuk might be uh, Brock Purdy's number one option. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, this is a team that puts up 30 points every time, you know, they step on the field or damn near every time they step on the field. Like, so thinking that Brandon Ayuk could average, you know, a shade under 100 yards per, per game. Yeah, absolutely. That That's that's fact. That's absolutely possible for him to do that. Extremely possible for him to do that. Like, he might be a pro bowler this year. Like, he, they, 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 <laughs> like, like, he's like pretty good. <laughs> no, nah, Brandon Ayuk is really good. And I think, I, I and I think he's a focal point of this 49ers offense. You see, Kittle, I think Kittle's doing a lot that's getting Christian McCaffrey going. Christian McCaffrey is obviously doing, you know, worlds of work right now. You know, when Debo is there for the explosive plays, but, 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 but moment to moment to moment to moment. Man, Brandon Ayuk is he he might be the top option for the San Francisco 49ers. This this can be a season. This could be a season that people are talking about for Brandon Ayuk for a while. Damn it, Gary. I hope you're happy. Your JV fucking defense has all these Niner fans thinking <laughs> oh. Brandon Ayuk is gonna take off. So thank you. You and whoever missed that tackle last season to give him that extra 15 yards over a thousand, you two are the the fan <laughs> the, the, the leaders of the fan club. So it's Kevin all your tickets. I'm so sad, man. It's one broken tackle. That's 999 right, well, yards. But I see Kevin's Kevin. the potter. Kevin's the one that come on here and pod. Yeah. He's the one that come on here and pod. That's all. I'm with it, Kevin. I'm with it. <laughs> so, factor cap. Brandon Ayuk is better than Amon Ross St. Brown. I'm going to say no. Just for the fact, like Gary mentioned, Amon Ross St. Brown is the number one target. We have, we might say Brandon Ayuk is the number one target, but he's not. You guys are going to take Debo over him. You're going to take Kill over him. You're going to take CMC over him. So, yeah, you know, because they're, uh, the Niners' four-string cornerback said he's the best route runner in the league, everyone in the league believes it. Let's not go off of these first two games of uh, the Rams he got hurt and the JV Steelers team. Amon Ross St. Brown is the better receiver any day of the week. Everyone's going to put Amon Ross St. Brown over Brandon Ayuk. So, for this reason, I'm going to go f- cap. Brandon Ayuk is not better tonight. than Amon Ross St. Brown. The Steelers. The JV defense caused four turnovers tonight. So. And what did D'Lo say? I don't know why I chose the Browns in anything. <laughs> yes, facts. Hey, man, come that's on. Facts. Come on now. It's the Browns. That's facts. So, 